We're here with Dr. Snady, one of our gastroenterologists at Jersey City Medical Center, who actually does a very special procedure that very few hospitals do. And we're really excited to have you as part of the medical center. We were talking a little bit about the concerns that people might have with constant heartburn and how they get diagnosed. You talked about dysplasia. Can you explain for people what that really means? Is it from the acid in their stomach or what, what actually ends up happening? Sure. Um, the, um, the esophagus has a certain type of cell and that extends all the way down to um, where the stomach begins. Mm -hmm. Those are different types of cells. The stomach cells are designed to handle acid. When we have acid coming up into our esophagus, oh, it's a stimulus for the body to do something to try to protect against that. Otherwise, it can cause irritation, inflammation. Right. So any constant irritant inflama inflammation can cause changes in cells. And what happens in some people is the stomach cells start to move up the esophagus and those are atypical and not shouldn't be there. It's great that they're there because you feel less heartburn, but it's right. not so good because they're not supposed to be there and they can change. Oh, I see. And dysplasia... So these are actually cells from your stomach that kind that of migrate kind of up migrate here? migrate up wow. the esophagus, right. Wow. Um, it's a, something that the, the body does to protect it from getting right. ulcers in the esophagus and narrowing and other bleeding and things like that. Okay. So it does serve a purpose. but. The best way to think of dysplasia is, is a funny looking cell. Right. And so when cells become funny looking, that's not a good movement. Right. And they become very funny looking, that's precancerous. Oh, I see. And that's really a high grade dysplasia, and then it turns into cancer. Oh, I see. So it's cells start starting to change because they're they're in locations that they should not normally there. Right. And then there's just continued irritation and then eventually there's a transformation. So that's how the process occurs.